Now I'd like to take you through an introduction to a product called InstaView. So first of all, let me walk you through what's typically involved in implementing uh, a brand new business analytics solution. So we introduced you to the Pintel platform. So the, the acts that folks go through to build a ground up implementation would be you would typically start by authoring a series of data integration transformations. And this is where you'll go about connecting to your data, cleansing your data, enriching your data, again, preparing it or staging it to be ready for analytics. Now, in order to address certain business analytics use case, in particular, if you want to facilitate self-service reporting or self-service analytics, um, what enables that is what we call metadata. So metadata is that abstraction layer between a very nice end user experience and the complexities of issuing SQL queries or API level access to applications and data. So the next phase in any typical analytics application will be the design of that kind of semantic model that's going to hide the users from the complexities of those underlying data sources. So that's kind of typically phase two. And then there's all the authoring of the content. So, you know, producing the reports, producing the dashboards. And Pintaho has a very strong platform for enabling those very rich, easy to use end user tools. But as you can see, there's still a lot of complexity in this process to be able to build a ground up solution. Um, so given that we have this end-to-end -end integrated platform, what we want to do with InstaView is take a look at this landscape and figure out how can we simplify this down to, a, to the minimal number of steps to be able to take people from the data they want to access to that rich interactive analytics uh, experience. And so that's what InstaView is all about. And so really we boiled it down into three um, specific steps. And so the first step of InstaView is point at the data that you want to access. So that might be a traditional data source like relational. That might be a more sophisticated data source like a big data data source, maybe it's a NoSQL data source like MongoDB or data that's sitting inside of Hadoop. So what you would see in InstaView is a very simple, I want to open up a new InstaView analytics, point to the data that you want to access. And then you may, depending on how that template is set up, you may be presented as an end user with a series of filters. So that might be something as simple as, hey, you want to pick the start and end range for the amount of data that you want to analyze. Now here's where some of the magic comes in. I mentioned that you know, once you've pointed at data, what really gives you that ease of use in terms of end user access and data discovery type use cases is this metadata model. So what InstaView would do, ha, will do at this point after we've pointed to our data, we've set our filter ranges, is it's going to automatically look at the data coming in and generate these semantic models based on what it discovers. And so from an end user perspective, all I do is set those ranges and immediately under the covers, it will generate all the complexity that will allow me to drive, dive right into the end user analytics. So from an end user perspective, one, two, three, all of a sudden I'm presented with a list of fields that I can begin dragging and dropping onto the canvas and instantly interacting and discovering um, new data sources. So that's the simplicity of it. Some of the power of the analytic, of the InstaView application comes in the fact that it's built upon this end-to-end -end platform from Pentaho. So we ship with a number of um, templates out of the box for commonly accessed data sources, but as an administrator or a BI solution architect, you can also add your own templates. Um, essentially what these are at the core are nothing more than data, integra data integration transformations where we've set up the parameters that we want to prompt the end user for. So while it could be a single source, you could also think of this as a way to build a solution. Let's say I want to enable website analytics or weblog analytics. Well, that overall solution might involve, hey, I want to point out this set of web logs. I want to set up the parsing to be able to extract the fields that are interesting to me. But I also might want to then enrich that data with third-party information that I call from another application in my enterprise or from a, a, a web service that I might call to get additional attributes that I want to bring into it. So as a solution architect, I could set up a template where I handle the complexities of dealing with the underlying data and then deploy that through the InstaView application so it becomes a simple, hey, I want to access these web logs and the similar flow. End user picks, I want to pick the web log access, gets presented with whatever I wanted to prompt them for very simply and again, right down into analytics. Under the covers, lots of complexity in order to enable that solution but delivered into one, two, three scenario to an end user.